I congratulate you on everything you're doing. Coming together uh, to in trade groups is really critical because it, it creates a middle level uh, where people can meet each other. Uh, it allows Democrats and Republicans and independents to be in the same place at the same time and get to know each other so that you can un understand where our commonalities are and re reassure yourselves that there's much more that unites us and divides us. My favor that I ask of you is as you think about this upcoming election, those of you in Pennsylvania, it's really critical to ask one key question. Are you happy with where the country's headed? And if, if people are not, and I'm not, then know that I'm the person for change, that I really know that, that we are the land of opportunity and plenty, and we can make that come true for the next generation. Um, I do believe that we can be an all of the above energy state. We can make our city streets safe, which we haven't talked about much, but is a big crisis. We can secure the border and allow legal immigration, which would also deal with the fentanyl that's pouring across the border. And we can give choice to parents for the schools that they desire. Uh, but most importantly, I want you to know that I believe in you. And if we do it together, you and I, then we'll be able to get the balance that we desire in Washington and be able to address these issues that are of national interest to us. But you have to go vote. And if you go to DrOz.com, there are opportunities there to support our campaign, but also read about my positions. Grab a bunch of people that are like-minded as you. Make sure that, you, especially you get to independent folks and explain points that I made today. Get them to come with you. That that's how we're going to win this election. Allow me a couple of seconds to close this out, Doctor. When I think about you in this race, I'm reminded of the old adage that the purpose of life is to live a life of purpose. And I believe that you have lived a purposeful life, first by pulling yourself up and out, to becoming a successful medical professional and an entrepreneur, to literally saving lives and applying your God-given talents towards the betterment of others. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, you are the living embodiment of the American dream. And now to offering yourself up for public service in a job that frankly is often very stressful and often thankless. Whatever the outcome of this race, I wanna commend you for your hard work, your hustle and your humility when reaching out to the people of Pennsylvania and particularly to my Hispanic community. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, all of you for joining us. And thank you again, Dr. Oz. Good day to you. Good day, God bless you all.